Today's feature finds the Big Ten and Big East competing for a seat at the Sweet 16 table. The third round of the dance that will begin with four matchups on Thursday, four on Friday, resulting in the grade eight that will be played out this coming weekend. Now I digress. We're talking tonight. We're talking a late event on Sunday night, March 24th, the final East region event that pits a number nine seeded Wildcats, Northwestern Wildcats, at the Barkley Center against the region's number one seeded UConn Huskies. The Huskies open 13 point favorites with a game total 136 and a half. Now, a tip off schedule uh, is set for 7.45 p.m. Eastern, which makes it 4.45 p.m. Pacific, the real time, the Vegas time. So and you can catch this broadcast, uh, the Big Ten, Big East matchup feature, Sunday feature on True a TV. And first, there's more than one way to skin this late Sunday matchup. There's a lot, there's a lot of different theories and such that I've heard. But the angle uh, that we here at the Media Center are taking is one that you won't want to miss. And I'll go over in depth but concise, brief, and get you out of here on your way. Click on the subscribe button, the blinking button, you know, the blinking button uh, on your monitor or your smart phone screen. The result of giving us one minute of your time by subscribing to the way you talk media information entertainment announcements will be all good news. In doing so, hitting the subscribe button, you'll receive upcoming Wager Talk uh, media information entertainment updates delivered to your desktop, your laptop, your smartphone, doorstep, all of which will make you more timely. Uh, you'll be alerted to upcoming programming scheduling, the changes to the current schedule, breaking news, worthy events that the Wager Talk team has announced or will announce. Uh, it might be a big play <clears throat> from, excuse me, from your favorite consultant, possibly, heck, possibly an, an announcement that Life was discovered on Mars or um, on the dark side of the moon. Anything and everything relevant to gaming and, of course, world peace here at Wage Talk Studios. You're going to hear, maybe you already have, about the deep, dark danger that Northwestern's capable of executing on game day, game night, and the matchup scenario. The rumors that this Northwestern team is guard heavy, it's true. Uh, being difficult to game plan for and more, untrue. Let me cut through the BS that you hear. You'll hear from you know the cryptic BS. You'll hear from broadcasting color crews that are trying to pimp, keep you, uh, keep you attached, attracted, uh, keep their viewership up. Late Sunday night, the game, a game that they're being paid to produce and deliver, obviously. So yes, <clears throat> the Cats are guard heavy. <clears throat> they have a handful of backcourt personnel um, capable uh, of being a pace changer, but a pace changer isn't. It's not a dynamic changer, a dynamic offense, not necessarily. Outside of Booby, who's a fringe offensive savant and one that has yet to meet a shot he didn't love or like, uh, Boo's more likely to hate what he's going to face on Sunday night in the defense of the Huskies than any shot that's going to face him or look him square in the hands and, and looking and aiming that throw the ball at the rim. I, listen, I do not believe that there isn't a shot that Boo – has met or been faced with that he didn't love, let alone like. I just don't think he's going to like a lot of the shots he takes or a lot of the results of the shots he takes tonight, Sunday night. The finale of the second round. So the Huskies are significantly bigger. They're longer, the rangier than the Northwestern. Significantly isn't loud enough. The Cats do not match up well with this Huskies team. The Achilles of this Wildcats group, their lack of beef. Their Northwestern is undersized. They've had some injuries that's created this. Now, if the Huskies' opponent is unable uh, to protect the glass and the rim, it doesn't really matter how much skill the opposition has in the backcourt. It's irrelevant. It's not going to matter. Uh, UConn is the prototype of roster and rotations that give the Wildcats fits on game night. Uh, being on the right side of this Sunday event it requires that you realize Stefan Castle and seven foot two big man Donovan Klingon are the real deal. These are not just deal makers or game breakers; they're the real deal. They play to their hype, and they'll move, they're going to move on and move up a short list or two short lists for the summer's NBA draft. They're both lottery picks. Tristan Newton, Cam Spencer, 
Alex Caravan. They're, these guys all have experience from, they bring the game table. The first round matchup, first round victory, should I say, for the Wildcats was impressive over Florida, Florida Atlantic. Unexpected, more so than anything. All things equal, the Cats were able to connect on difficult shot after difficult shot. Uh, something that they should be committed for. Also something that you should know they cannot rinse and repeat. The Wildcats' defensive metrics are skewed due to less, a less than year, let's say, in the Big Ten. And let me announce without hiccuping that this Northwestern team is not a top 50 defensively efficient team as they're pimped and being promoted as. Maybe top 100, maybe. Situ- simulation after simulation, uh, creatively imagining the worst and the best situation for the Wildcats has yet to produce even one sim that didn't have the Huskies winning by double digits, most by 20 or more. Tonight's pick to click, the play. Yukon Huskies minus the number. I'm Tony Finn. So glad you dropped by the studios. Um, come back tomorrow.